Alright, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to Build a Break Garage video. Um, I'm cutting in here. This is actually filmed two days before the next clip you're going to see. Uh, but I just wanted to say that we are almost to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't hit that like or that subscribe button yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really would like to make the milestone of 1,000. It would be awesome. And I appreciate all you guys' support and following. Uh, it's been a wonderful journey and uh, I just can't wait to hit that thousand mark. So... Be sure to hit that subscribe button and thank you for your subscription. Uh, but go ahead and enjoy this video about a wideband install. And uh, it's pretty short, but uh, at least you got something to watch while you're in uh, quarantine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. What's up, guys? Welcome to another Build a Break Garage episode. This is going to be a quick one today, nothing too fancy. Basically, I've been uh, running the turbo car for a while now and my AEM wideband decided to stop working like completely so uh, luckily I still have the wideband that I had in the original turbo car which is an Innovate so it's actually gonna be a little bit better than the AEM that is in it right now and uh, it'll be really interesting to see what this car runs so I'm gonna start tearing this thing apart and first thing is get it up in the air so I can switch out that O2 sensor All right, well, I got the car up in the air. Next thing to do is go inside the car and rip out the old AEM gauge. Hopefully it doesn't give me a hard time. It's, last time I tried to do this, I gave up halfway through, so hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Hi right, guys, well I uh, got the AEM gauge all out and just test fitted the Innovate gauge. As you can tell, I had to snake my way through all of my spaghetti wires, but I did get the Innovate gauge and the wire through up there. So I found a positive and a negative wire in there, and I think it's from a previous gauge I have installed. So I'm going to see if I have power going to those wires, and if I do, this has just gotten a lot easier to do. Well, I got the sensor in, I got the gauge installed. I am, I tried calibrating the system and all I am getting is this. So yeah, that's what it's doing, so. It's not working. I've tried calibrating it twice now. I hate this Innovator gauge. This thing is giving me nothing but problems since I bought it, so I think I'm gonna be in the market for a new wideband. What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, well, welcome to day two, I should say. Uh, I installed the Innovative gauge and uh, basically couldn't get it to recalibrate. I was, I've never, I've had nothing but problems with that gauge the whole time I've owned it. I hate it. So I went and ordered myself an AEM gauge. It's already pre-calibrated, already just to bolt in and go. Uh, right now I'm get, I got the car warming up so that way I can get the air pressure to go up in my air compressor tank and raise the car up so I can get the jack under it. We'll get to installing this AEM gauge. I'll even show you what it looks like. So this is the new gauge. It's a little bit fancier than the one I had before. It's got different modes and everything, so it's really, really thin. Uh, that one uh, Joey has in the 240 is the same one, and uh, I like it, so I'm going to go ahead and install it. It's pretty simple. It's just hook up red and black and run the wire. This should be a pretty quick one. Okay, so I got the car, got the car lifted up. It's uh, all up, so I'm going to go ahead and lift it up on the jack. First things first is to get the top dash panel off in the interior, and then take out the gauge that's in there right now so enjoy watching me tear apart this dash and don't mind the spaghetti okay well I got the got the gauge out uh, next thing to do is get the wire that goes to the O2 sensor out and the O2 sensor and then start installing the new gauge it should be really quick like I said so
All right, now that I got the garage all blown out, this friggin' floor was a mess. I can't believe how much shit blew in over the winter. But now, I got the wire ran through the firewall, coming back out, and got the car lifted up. Yeah, there are no safety stands, I don't care. But that is where the O2 is, and I'll get pulled that pulled out, and get the new one installed, and then uh, it's just a matter of running wires at that point. Okay, running into a little snag. I've got the gauge installed, I got it wired up, and it didn't turn on. So, I think I might have wired something wrong, so I'm gonna test, the, uh, test my power source again, which is these two wires out of this spaghetti mess, and uh, see if I have power going to them. Okay, we got it fixed, and it is running and working great. I had a little scare there, I had turned it on and it wasn't turning on, and uh, it came out to be the ground was wrong, so I got it all fixed up, so now it's time to tuck in these wires into the dash, and uh, put the dash bay back on and I'm all set, so yeah, thank you for watching.